Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this lecture, we are going to see how to install CUDA on Ubuntu 24.04. CUDA is an abbreviation for Compute Unified Device Architecture and it's a parallel computing platform and programming model created by NVIDIA. It helps developers speed up their applications by harnessing the power of NVIDIA GPUs for general purpose computing. CUDA is designed specifically for NVIDIA GPUs and is therefore not compatible with GPUs from other manufacturers like AMD or Intel. Now let's take a look at the use cases. CUDA can be used for a, vi a wide variety of use cases including gaming, video editing, machine learning and AI, scientific simulations involving complex calculations and other resource intensive tasks. Now in this tutorial, we will cover how to install CUDA on Ubuntu 24.04 and also install the NVIDIA drivers. So to get started, ensure you have your instance of Ubuntu 24.04 desktop. So as you can see on your screen, I'm running Ubuntu 24.04 on my HP ProBook laptop. All right. And to confirm the version, I can simply run the command cat, etc OS release and hit enter. So as you can see, I'm running Ubuntu 24.04.1, which is the latest point release of Ubuntu at the time of making this video. Also, you need to ensure that you have an NVIDIA GPU card on your system. So you can verify that by running the command ls pci. Then you can pipe the output to grep to search for NVIDIA. As you can see on your screen, then I'm going to hit enter. So as you can see, I'm running NVIDIA GeForce MX130. Alright, so this might be different on your system. So ensure you have an NVIDIA compatible card already installed. Alright, with the prerequisites out of the way, now let's get started with the installation of CUDA on Ubuntu 24.04. The first step is to upgrade your system to ensure that it has the latest software. So I'm going to clear the screen and to do so, I'm going to first of all update the local package index. So I'm going to do that by running the command sudo apt update. So this will update the local package index. So here I'm going to provide my sudo password and hit enter. All right, so as you can see, my system is getting updated to the latest package lists. And we are done. Additionally, you can upgrade your system and upgrade all the residing software to the latest versions. And you can do so by running the command sudo apt upgrade. So I'm going to pass the hyphen Y option for non-interactive upgrade of the software versions. So as you can see on your screen, the upgrade is underway and we are done. So I'm going to clear the screen. Okay. So the next step, I'm going to list the recommended NVIDIA drivers on your system. Now to do so, you need to have the Ubuntu drivers common package installed. All right. So to install it, run the command sudo apt install ubuntu hyphen drivers hyphen common so this is a package that we need to install and this will help us to list the recommended nvidia drivers for our N for our nvidia gpu card so i'm gonna hit enter so as you can see we already have this package installed all right so now with the package installed we are going to list the drivers that are recommended for our NVIDIA GPU. So I'm going to clear the screen. So to do so, I'm going to run the command sudo ubuntu hyphen drivers, then devices and hit enter. So this command will populate a list of drivers that are recommended for our system. So this is the output you get. All right. So pay attention to the recommended driver here. So as you can see, the recommended driver for NVIDIA in my case is NVIDIA driver 550. So in your case, this might be different. All right. So here you can see the model 
of the NVIDIA driver that I'm having. And as we saw earlier, this is GeForce MX130. And just to repeat that command, you can run the command ls pci then grep hyphen i, the hyphen i flag ignores case sensitivity. So you can type NVIDIA in lowercase or uppercase and it will still give you the same output. So as you can see, we are running GeForce MX130, which is the same here, GeForce MX130. All right, now, as you saw, we have NVIDIA driver 550, which is which has been recommended when we're running this command here, Ubuntu driver's devices. So this is a driver we are going to install next. So I'm going to clear the screen. So now, in this step, we are going to install the NVIDIA driver, which has been recommended. So to do so, I'm going to run the command sudo apt install NVIDIA hyphen driver hyphen 550. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter. So as you can see, in our case, NVIDIA driver 550, 550 is already installed and is the newest version. All right. So now, at this point, we are going to reboot the system to ensure that everything has been installed. So in case you did not have this driver installed, ensure that you reboot your system. So I'm going to pause the video this time and allow you to reboot your system. Once you have rebooted your system, launch your terminal once again. So in this step, we are going to verify the NVIDIA driver installation. And to do so, you can simply run the command NVIDIA hyphen SMI and hit enter. So this is the NVIDIA system management interface that displays the details of our installed NVIDIA driver. So hit enter. So at the very top here, you can find uh, the details. So as you can see, we have installed NVIDIA driver version 550.107.02. And this is the CUDA version, so 12.4. Okay. The next step is to install GCC. So this is a compiler that will be used when installing the CUDA toolkit. So I'm going to clear the screen. Now, to install GCC, simply run the command sudo apt install GCC and hit enter. So, here you're prompted to continue, so I'm going to type Y and hit enter to install the GCC compiler. So, this will take just a few seconds, so just be patient as the installation progresses. So to check the version of GCC installed, simply run the command GCC with the hyphen V flag. Okay, so this gives you a bunch of information as you can see on the screen. And at the bottom here, you can see we are running GCC version 13.2.0. Okay, so now in our next step, we are going to install CUDA Toolkit for Ubuntu. Once you have installed the GCC compiler, the next step is to install the CUDA toolkit for Ubuntu. So to do so, we need to go to the NVIDIA CUDA download website to get the latest CUDA toolkit for Ubuntu. So I'm going to launch my Firefox browser. You can use any browser that you feel comfortable with. So here I'm going to search for CUDA download and hit enter. So, as you can see, the latest CUDA toolkit at the time of making this video is CUDA toolkit version 12.6. So, I'm going to open this link here in another tab. So, as you can see, we are on the NVIDIA download, CUDA download page. Alright, so since we are running Linux, I'm going to select the Linux selection here. Our architecture is... 64-bit architecture so I'm going to select the 64-bit option here 
Then I'm going to select Ubuntu since I'm running Ubuntu. And over here, select your version. I'm running Ubuntu 24.04. So select your corresponding version. So here I'm going to go with 24.04. Then finally, I'm going to select the Debian local installation here. So down below, you can see the installation instructions. Okay. So what you need to do, you're going to run each instruction one by one. And to make things easier, I'm simply going to copy each instruction here and run it on my terminal. So here, I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to head over to my terminal and paste it here. So this is going to download this file kuda-ubuntu24.04.pin. So I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, now let me confirm the download. So I'm going to use the ls-l command. Then I'm going to search for kuda-ubuntu. And as you can see, this is our file. Okay, now let me clear the screen. So, moving on, I'm going to run the second command here. So, I'm going to copy this and paste it. So, I'm going to paste it here. So, that is going to move the file. We'll move this file to this directory and also rename it as CUDA-repository-pin-600. So I'm going to hit enter. So let's confirm this. So I'm going to run the ls forward slash etsy forward slash apt forward slash preferences dot d. Then I'm going to hit enter. So as you can see, we have moved our CUDA file and renamed it. All right. Let me clear the screen. So the next step, we are going to download the Debian file for CUDA. So I'm going to use this command here to download the Debian file. So I'm going to go back to my terminal and I'm going to paste this. Okay, and hit enter. So as you can see, this is quite a massive file. And as you can see here, this is a 3.1 gigabit file and this is going to take quite some time. Okay, so as you can see, this will take about 39 minutes in my case. So at this point, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to get back once the download is complete. The download is now complete and... Let me check whether we have completed downloading the file. So once again, I'm going to use the ls-l command. Then I'm going to search for the CUDA uh, repo file. And as you can see, this is the file that we have just downloaded. And you can use the H option to display the size downloaded in a more human readable format. And as you can see, the file is 3.2 GB. All right, now let me clear the screen. So I'm gonna go back to my browser and continue running the commands. So the fourth command we're going to run is this one here. So we are going to use uh, dpkg package manager to run the Debian file that you've just downloaded. So here I'm going to paste this command and run the Debian file. So here I'm going to provide my password. And as you can see, the package manager is running the Debian package or the Debian file that you've just downloaded. So just give it some time to complete. So once again, this is going to take a while. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back once this is complete. And there we, we are done. All right. So we have successfully ran the Debian package. Okay. So the next step, we are going to head over back to our browser. Okay. 
So here we are going to install the GPG key by copying this command over here. So I'm gonna copy this command and I'm going back to the terminal and I'm gonna paste it here. All right. So I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, then next. I'm going now to update to update the local package index once more so that we can now start using the CUDA repository. So I'm going to go back to my terminal and I'm going to paste this command. Okay, so the command has run successfully. And if you're careful, if you, you can notice that now we are uh, that these definitions have been indicated here. So we are going now to start using the CUDA uh, software definitions. Okay, so now once that, that is done, the next step is to install the CUDA toolkit. And to do so, we are finally going to run this command here. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this and run okay so as you can see the installation for CUDA toolkit is underway okay so just give it uh, some time to finish CUDA is successfully installed on our system now for the post installation task we are going to set up the environment and to do so we are going to add the installation path to the path variable now to do so, we are going to access the bash rc file. So this is a hidden file residing on your home folder. All right. So, so to do so, you can use or run the ls-la command. Then you can search for the bash rc file. Okay, so here you can see the bash rc file. So we need to modify this file and add a few lines. So these lines will define, will add the installation path to the path variable. So I'm going to use the nano text editor and I'm going to access or open the bash rc file. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to scroll all the way down using my arrow down key okay so i'm gonna add the following lines so i have a, a few lines here on my text editor okay so these lines will define the path variable okay so just copy this and i'm going to include this in the description so copy this at the end of your bash rc file as you can see here okay then to save the changes, I'm going to press Ctrl O. Then I'm going to hit enter to save the changes. And then I'm going to press Ctrl X to exit the file. All right. Now I'm going now to read all to the file. Okay. So I'm going to use the source command and I'm going to run it like this. Then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, now the environment has finally been set and now we can test the CUDA toolkit by executing the following command. So we are going to run the command nvcc with the hyphen v option like that. Press enter and there we go. So this returns the nvcc version and confirms that the CUDA toolkit has been installed. So here you can see nvcc okay so this is the cuda compiler driver okay so here you can see the version okay and other details so that's it guys for this video in this tutorial we have learned how to install cuda on ubuntu 24.04 alongside the latest nvidia drivers and cuda toolkit okay so that's it for this video. Thank you for coming this far and see you in the next lecture.